All right, man. I'm down here in Punta Cana, enjoying myself, having a good time. It's been a nice, needed getaway vacation. And I, I go back to the wisdom scripture where it said, according to thy own ability, do good unto thyself. And you have to do good unto yourself. We're going through this life, a lot of us are just working, working, working. It seems like we're just working to pay bills. It seems like we are like the hamster on the wheel. It's going up and down, all around, every single day, week in, week out. And we're not treating ourselves. We're not going out and experiencing some of the finer things that our Heavenly Father has in store for us. So I just want to encourage you out there, all right, to save up some money. It's not hard to go on a, a vacation out the country. You know, it could be as simple as just putting aside, you know, $50 to $100 per week from your check or if you work for yourself, you know, disciplining yourself to put that money to the side so that you can go out and experience things because I'm telling you, once you travel, if you haven't been outside the country, when you get outside the country and you start to see so many different faces and so many different personalities and so many different thought processes, trying different type of foods. I mean, all the type of foods we've been eating here, man, I've been having to kind of watch it because I'm like, man, I've been eating like a king out here. Room service, people bring the things to your room if you need it. You know, treat you like royalty. And I want that for every one of you out there that's taking a look at this. All right, this life, I'm a very serious person. I believe in keeping the laws and commandments, but we, it can't be to the point to where you just live this life and you're just serious, serious, and you don't do nothing with your family, you don't do nothing with your spouse. You're just out here working and working and working. And listen, that's not the plan I'm signing up for. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not here on this earth just to be working all day, every day, 60, 70 hours a week, running myself into the grave. And when you get around here, there's some other people out here that we are connected with, and they are out here just living it up. They're out there right now, the water park, doing some different things. But you need to be around some other people that's, that's thinking about traveling too. You know, get around like-minded people that's trying to go in the direction that you're trying to go in so that you can bounce ideas off of them. Now we already have another trip, a trip planned already, uh, going to another place out of the country. And it's going to continue to perpetuate. I've had to make it up in my mind that every single year it has to be multiple vacations. All right, I do getaways and, you know, going somewhere for a weekend and going there for a day, leave, coming there Friday, leaving now on Sunday. You about there for a day and a half. But I'm trying to be places four or five days and experience it all at the most high. I want to see every place, every city, every country that he will allow me to see within the allotted time that I have left on this earth, all right? And I pray for those of you that's watching this that you can adapt that same mentality or right, you can enjoy much. It says that one, one scripture in the wisdom book, it said, a man that has traveled knows many things. And so when I can hop off the plane in the Dominican Republic and I'm seeing these individuals, they walking up to me, they trying to sell all kind of things. And individuals, they've been telling me, man, you look like a, you look like a Dominican. That's what they've been telling me down here. And so many individuals told me that, but seeing they hustle, seeing they grind, you know, some of these people, they might be poor. Uh, being on this resort, it gives them an opportunity to experience opulence and experience abundance. And just being around these people. People are so nice, they've been so nice to me. I love these people. I feel I got an affection for these people down here. I feel like they're my long lost brothers and sisters that I, I've just finally met. And so I'm just saying, our people, we are scattered around the four corners of the world. And you know, I know individuals say that we look like the people in Africa as well. You know, down here in the Dominican, I'm seeing brothers and sisters that, that look just like the people that I see back in my, my original city that I'm in right now. They don't look no different. It's just that they just start speaking Spanish. All right, we speak in English. So uh, I want to continue to encourage you out there you know, please treat yourself good, do good unto yourself. If you don't do good to yourself, who's going to do it? If you don't look out for you, if you don't treat yourself to a vacation, if you don't treat yourself to a getaway, who is going to do it for you? Who is going to help you be able to get that reflection? Who is going to help you to be able to go somewhere and isolate and close your eyes and look up at the serene skies and, and be able to put your feet in the sand and just be able to be one with the most high? All right, so I just want to share it with you as we continue to go forward and hope you enjoy it.